Welcome to a retrospective journey into the 20th century, a time when jobs, now part of nostalgic tales, were the fabric of everyday life. Envision an era where the hum of a mimeograph machine was a sign of activity and the milkman's daily visits were as consistent as the weather report. These roles, though eclipsed by the digital age's march, were the understated stars of a simpler, less plugged-in time. So, grab a comfy seat and a cup of joe, and let's take a stroll down memory lane, revisiting the jobs that kept the world spinning before the internet took over the wheel. Teletype operators were the keystrokes behind the news and long-distance chatter before emails took over. Manning their teletype writers, they were like the telegraph operators of the modern era, sending bursts of news and personal tidbits through buzzing lines. Picture them. Fingers dancing on keys like pianists, a symphony of taps and clacks now replaced by the quiet glow of screens. Thriving from the jitterbug days of the 1930s to the disco fever of the 1970s, these machines were the town criers of both global headlines and intimate tales. But as the digital age dawned, these tactile messengers became silent. Their once urgent tapping, now a quaint memory in an age of instant messaging. Gas station attendants were the jack-of-all-trades in the golden age of road trips, offering not only fuel, but a touch of personal care to every traveler. They didn't just pump gas, they cleaned windshields, checked oil, and offered a friendly chat, a stark contrast to today's self-service pumps. Back in the mid-20th century, pulling into a gas station was akin to visiting an old friend who ensured your car was road-ready. Equipped with tool belts and warm smiles, these attendants were an integral part of the travel experience, as essential as the highways themselves. As self-service became the norm, these roadside guardians faded away, turning full service into a nostalgic luxury. Pin setters and bowling alleys were the hidden artisans who kept the game rolling before machines took over. Manually resetting pins and returning balls, they were the unseen heroes of every strike and spare. In the 1940s and 1950s, their swift and precise movements behind the scenes were as much a part of bowling as the alleys themselves. As automation surged in the late 50s, these adept workers quietly left, passing the pin-setting rhythm to machines. The transition marked the end of an era where human touch was integral to the game, transforming a personal aspect of bowling into a fond memory. The Milkman, once a familiar morning figure, epitomized doorstep dairy deliveries shaping daily routines in neighborhoods from the 1920s through the 1970s. With the gentle clink of bottles and a warm smile, they provided doorstep access to essentials like milk, butter, and cream. This daily visit, emblematic of community spirit and old-fashioned convenience, has gradually been eclipsed by supermarket shopping. The milkman's happy tune and the excitement of fresh deliveries are now treasured memories, lost in the vast expanses of today's grocery store aisles. This evolution from personal doorstep service to the anonymous efficiency of supermarkets reflects a broader change in how society values convenience. Before refrigerators graced every kitchen, the ice delivery man was a beacon of relief during sweltering summers, delivering vital ice for cooling and preserving edibles. Their arrival, from the dawn of the 20th century to the mid-1950s, was as welcomed as a dip in a cool pool. Maneuvering massive ice blocks, they were essential in keeping homes and businesses frosty. With the advent of electric refrigeration, these cool custodians gradually vanished, their fundamental service fading into historical obscurity. The romantic era of ice delivery now remains a frost-kissed memory in our collective history. Knife sharpeners once roamed neighborhoods, ringing their bells to announce the sharpening of knives, scissors, and other tools. With their grinding wheels and precise skills, they were the unsung heroes of every kitchen and workshop. Up until the late 1960s, their services were indispensable, ensuring that every cut was clean and every slice was smooth. As prepackaged goods and disposable utensils grew in popularity, the need for these traveling craftsmen waned. The familiar ring of their arrival and the satisfaction of a freshly sharpened blade are now cherished memories in a world where convenience has dulled the romance of this craft. Elevator operators were more than just button pushers. They were the conductors of vertical journeys in towering buildings. Active from the early 1900s to the disco era of the 1970s, they masterfully controlled manual lifts, elevating passengers not just in floors, but in spirits with friendly banter. Riding an elevator was akin to a brief, friendly visit, quite the opposite of today's solitary skyward jaunts. 
As automated elevators took over, these genial guides of the vertical voyage gracefully bowed out, leaving us with a silent button-pressing ritual. The personal touch of a friendly operator, once an everyday luxury, is now a charming footnote in the story of progress. Soda Jerks, the flamboyant virtuosos of the soda fountain, lit up every mom-and-pop shop from the Charleston dance floors of the 20s to the moonwalks of the 60s. They weren't merely dispensing beverages, they were architects of liquid joy, orchestrating bottles with a magician's finesse, whisking up frothy wonders and creamy fantasies. These fountains were the heartbeats of communities, resounding with chortles and the symphony of clinking glass, where a jerk's razzle-dazzle was as effervescent as their concoctions. As the era of quick bites and canned drinks unfolded, these colorful craftsmen and their social oases gently lost their sparkle, distilling into a sweet echo of times past. Blacksmiths, the original iron artisans, transformed raw metal into necessities, from sturdy tools to reliable horseshoes. In a time predating industrial giants, their forges were symphonies of progress, humming until the 1950s. Each forge was a haven of heat and handiwork, far removed from the cold precision of modern machinery. As technology marched forward, these skilled smiths saw their trade shift from everyday necessity to a historic art form. The warm light of the forge and the steady hammer beats now resonate as nostalgic melodies from a time when each creation was handcrafted with passion. Film projectionists, the silent artists of the silver screen, skillfully maneuvered film reels to bring stories to life. From the early 1900s until the advent of digital projection, they were as essential to movie magic as the stars on the screen. Tucked away in their booths, they were the conductors of cinematic symphonies. Now, with digital projectors mere clicks, this craft has dimmed, much like the final scene of an old noir film. The once familiar hum of the projector and the dance of light on film have been replaced by digital precision, transforming the projectionist's touch into a nostalgic memory, like a cherished black and white classic. Newsboys, the early morning heralds of the bustling cityscapes and sleepy suburbs, once echoed extra extra along every street. From the dawn of the 20th century to the disco days of the 70s, their voices were the rhythmic beat of urban life. With a stack of papers under their arms, they not only delivered news but also became a symbol of the bustling, interconnected world. Before the age of tweets and breaking news alerts, these pint-sized town criers were our lifeline to global happenings. Yet as headlines moved from print to pixels, the iconic role of the newsboy dimmed, their vibrant calls now nostalgic whispers from an era where news was flipped through, not clicked. Switchboard operators, the human bridges of yesteryear's telecommunication, connected calls with a deft interplay of plugs and wires. From their heyday in the era of jazz bands to the age of rock and roll, they added a personal touch to every conversation. Unlike today's automated systems, each connection was personal. Navigating a complex network of connections, they not only linked calls, but also formed a vital part of the community's communication fabric. However, as technology advanced, these human hubs were replaced by silent digital systems, transforming bustling switchboard rooms into serene relics. The operator's friendly, how may I help you, now lives on only in memories, overtaken by the sterile prompt of automation. Hand-painted billboard artists, the Rembrandts of the roadways, transformed billboards into towering works of art. Prior to the digital era's dominance in the 1980s, these artists melded artistic skill with daring heights to create vibrant, eye-catching canvases. Their creations weren't just advertisements, but landmarks, infusing cityscapes with color and life. As digital printing emerged, these manually crafted masterpieces slowly receded into the background, overtaken by the swift efficiency of technological advancements. The bold strokes and vibrant paints of these artists have now become treasured echoes from advertising's handcrafted golden age. Imagine a time when your alarm clock was a person with a stick. That was the reality with knocker-uppers. These early risers wandered through towns and neighborhoods, tapping windows with their long sticks to wake sleepers for their daily toils. They were particularly important for shift workers and others without the luxury of natural light to signal the start of their day. Up until the 1940s, this profession was as crucial as a morning cup of coffee. As alarm clocks found their way into every bedroom, the charming role of the knocker-upper slowly vanished into the mists of time. What remains now is a quaint narrative, a throwback to a time when the start of the day was heralded by a human gesture, not the jarring sound of an alarm. These professions, once the lifeblood of daily life, 
now live on only in the nostalgic corners of our hearts. Enjoyed this trip through nostalgic history? Check out our next video for more insights. Remember to like and subscribe for more.